Hello and welcome back guys to another video. I am your host, the Croissant Mafia. And today, we went out exploring yet again. We went to a place called Hearthstone Castle. And again, if you live in the Connecticut state, you can actually go visit this place. Uh, it is on Brushy Hill Road. Uh, the way to do it would be to park your car in the uh, park that is right across from the castle. You park your car there and then you cross the street and there is a dirt path that leads you up to it. Now, you can't really explore the interior of this castle because uh, there is construction going on, there's a fence around it uh, because of a, an asbestos warning, so um, you can't really go into it, but there is a separate path in the woods that will lead you around it and you can actually get up close to it uh, to see it uh, well enough. Uh, so that you can explore yourself when you get there. But on to the history lesson. So uh, this castle was built by a man of the name E. Star Stanford. I think that's right. I'm not quite sure. I'm not good with names. And he built it between 1896 and 1899 as his summer home. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I do a lot of stuff during the summer, but that is not build myself a castle and only live there for five years because after this man built his castle, he had sold it to another family and they stayed there for a couple years and then they sold it to another family and this other guy bought it for his daughter. And honestly, there's not much to see of the castle because you can't go inside it. Honestly, I would have loved to have gone, and gone inside because it looked amazing. But um, what's the fascinating part about this is that it's still standing. Like, it is in ruins, for sure. Like, obviously, there's not much left to it, but it still looks magnificent. And honestly, I would, what I, when I say I would have loved to go inside, like, I would have loved to go to the top, right? Because I bet the view would have been great up there. But, in any case, um, the actual fascinating part about this is the haunted story behind it. And... I was told this uh, story by a man that was, uh, I believe he was working there. Uh, he was just like patrolling the area and uh, he, <laughs> we were, I was about to leave. Uh, and the guy then says, oh, you guys took pictures of the castle. And we're like, yeah. And then he just goes right before we leave, just goes, oh, you know, it's haunted, right? So me and my dumbass, I run, Really? He haunted, you say? You know, and then he goes on to tell me. So, the park where we par uh, where my car was at has this old plantation house. I believe it's still being inhabited now as just like a regular house, but back in the day, it was owned by the slave owner. And apparently, the castle of the street, or I guess of the path, had a bunch of tunnels on the ground, like it had a couple in rooms, and uh, the man who owned it had slaves basically, you know, cleaning it up and all that. But then one day, they killed off all the slaves. And so this slave owner, he had two daughters, and one of them was getting married. And because the other one was jealous, she pushed her sister out the window. And basically the girl out that was, you know, on the ground out of the window, just got up and walked to the castle. And apparently to this day, people have reported hearing voices and seeing this girl just take her trip from the plantation house to the castle. And this apparently happens around midnight. Now, <laughs> see, I am absolutely terrified of these things. So honestly, I may or may not go back at midnight to that place, just because, you know, I'm, I'm curious, but at the same time, I'm also terrified of getting murdered by a ghost. 
So yeah, but anyway, that's your uh, history for lesson today, guys. Uh, I do recommend you guys go see it. It's it's still as even though you can't go inside, you can still see a good portion of it. Uh, like I said, there's a wooden path uh, that leads you around it, and you'll get you can, you're able to get to the fence and just kind of walk along it, and you'll be able to see some decent parts of it. Uh, but that's, I mean, only if you live in Connecticut. Uh, I'll leave uh, the directions down uh, in the description, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I would appreciate it if you liked it, left a comment, subscribe to me, because that would honestly help me a great deal. But in any case, I hope you guys had a lovely day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!